Right, okay, so last uh, video for adding and subtracting rational expressions. Again, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to look at these denominators, okay? So again, that first one is a difference of squares. It's x plus 4 with an x minus 4, okay? That's for the first one. So uh, that's how you factor that one. How do you factor the second denominator? That's just what's two numbers that make four when you multiply and five when you add. So for this one, okay, it's going to be x plus four. So there's another x plus four. It's usually the pattern. There's always been one repeated somewhere. And an x plus one, okay? So, um, okay, so that's breaking down that one. X plus 4. Okay, now again, let's piece it together. So, I think I need some space for this one. The new lowest common denominator is going to be, just write them all down, x plus 4. Again, I don't have to write it twice, even though I see it twice. There's one in each. There's no more than one. All right. So, x minus 4. Again, I'm just writing what I can see. And this x plus 1. So that there is the lowest common denominator. So that's me writing the first one, all right? So that's me doing this one, okay? Minus, okay? I'll change the numerators later. Again, just tediously write this one out. Same thing, x plus 4, x minus 4. That was the difference of squares, 1, with an extra x plus 1, I can see. Uh, and those two should be the same, okay. Those are your lowest common denominators, okay. Now, again, visuals. This was the original first denominator. This is now the new first denominator, the common denominator. What's the extra bit? Visuals, there's an extra x plus 1, all right? That's the extra bit. I already had an x here. Again, the extra bit is the x plus 1. So I can see I'm going to have to distribute that. I'm going to get an x squared on that one. Okay, let's go over to the next one. So again, originally there was an 8. And I look, okay, so again, here's the original denominator. And it looks like the extra bit is this x minus 4. Okay, visuals. x minus 4 will go on the top. That's it. Okay, so let's work on that numerator. Forget about the, the denominator now. You've got it. Let's work on the numerator. Okay, so this one here. x squared plus x. Um, right, now remember, this, think of this as a negative 8 that you are going to distribute through that x minus 4. This is why people always get the minus ones wrong. They realize, okay, you're not just subtracting, this is a negative 8 distributed through the x minus 4. That will be, so, first one's okay, negative 8x, and then can you see positive 32, negative 8, negative 4, right? So be careful of those. That's why the negatives, you know, people always get them wrong. Um, okay, so there's that. All right, again, I'm not going to worry about the, the denominator. I'm just going to still finish this one off. So I can do these two, can't I? So x squared, 1x take away 8x, negative 7x, plus 32. Okay, so there is my numerator. Now I'm going to look at that because this is where sometimes, occasionally, you could factor that numerator and it might cancel with something on the denominator. Um, you know, you've got x plus 4's on the denominator, you've got x minus 4's, you've got x plus 1's, so I'm not going to write that denominator just yet. I'm going to see if I can break this down. Any two numbers that make 32 when you multiply negative 7 when you add? I don't think so. Okay, that's fine. I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to write tediously x plus 4, okay, here we go again, just writing that lowest common denominator, because this is it, this is going to be the answer now, x minus 4 with an x plus 1, okay, let me just make sure that's a 4, uh, and that's it folks, that's the answer right there, hmm. oh, let's just quickly, um, I'll have a quick look at this one before we finish. The only thing extra I can see is I need, okay, the lowest common denominator of z squared and z is z squared. So the first one will not change. All right. Minus, if, I can see, if you can see that the lowest common denominator is the z squared, 
Then look, I have got an extra Z on the bottom, so put an extra Z on the top. Okay, it was a 2, now it's a 2Z. This is a quick, easy one, really. As long as you realise that Z squared was the lowest common denominator, I didn't change the first. Extra Z on the bottom, so extra Z on the top in the second term. And that's it, so it's 7 minus 2Z all over Z squared. Because I can't combine 7 and 2Z. Very quick on that one. All right.